Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. Bad Flood is suppressing Congo. Let's continue on from the last left off. So, something just happened. So here's the war in Israel. Uh, are you part of the faction? No, you are Accelerationist. Siri is also not part of the faction, so we'll see how this turns out, but I'm pretty sure... 5 to 7 against 6 to 8. I don't know, we'll see. We will see, we will see, or we will see. But soon, hopefully, we can begin our campaign. Wow, they were, that, that was fast. That was incredibly fast. How do you do it so quickly? I don't understand, but okay. Still March 1937. You're going to do a pact with Prussia, which I believe means you're probably going to go with Germany. Conquer Czechoslovakia, influence Czechoslovakia. Yeah, because they haven't gone for the pan German supremacy. I mean, they still strengthen the ultra nationalist. Yeah, so you can basically put one troop here, day one. I mean, like, for you, we're probably going to do like two units here, two units here. One goes captures this free territory. And all three of you march into there. Because again, we have to really conquer them one at a time. Against uh, Maomi. Maomi is you. And then I think New Belgium's next. None of these have actual descriptions on them. Then we kill a New Belgium, who of course is in two separate chunks. And then we go take over Kivu at the end. Which seems pretty okay to me. Seems like an okay uh, way to do it. It's a bit strange that we're kind of starting with the strongest faction and not the the weakest. But what do I know? Actually, no. Kivu, Kivu is definitely the strongest. What am I talking about? Uh, let's make our industry a little bit better. We're running out of a lack of supply, so any bonus we can get would be nice. Okay, so I got construction too, so we can need to go for excavation too. Yeah, so now we're going 8 8. You don't, like, give us a civilian factory. I mean, rubber doesn't do anything for us. I'm assuming we don't have an air force. Yeah, not surprising. We could theoretically, theoretically build aircraft. We don't have an airport. If I was to build an airport, can I build it anywhere? I could. So you might as well put it here. But again, I can't build anything. I think some of the AI can. Like, Congolese Republic 3-3 is actually like, pretty good. I'm at 8-1 right now, so I think I have the most factories, but it's very, very unbalanced uh, where those factories are going. Yeah, we definitely can't fix our aluminum problem. It's just, it's that forever. And if you have 8 to 11, so this is more than half your army. I can guarantee there's probably some troops back here who might come up to the front as soon as we uh, declare war. And if anything, it'd actually be faster if I just, just fight war like through this. 95 days is not too bad. 95 days is actually almost as fast. No, if I was to do this, it'd be 70, 70, 70, 70. Which is 210 days. I can actually just fight two separate wars in the time it would take for me to manually just fight against you. Or through the focus. So you know what? I am going to manually just, just fight against Mommy. Unless there's going to be another conflict soon that's going to boost world tension up. But I don't think there is. So I'm just going to just fight a war goal against you. Make my life simpler. And are these troops actually training? They are. They don't have the manpower yet, still. Manpower is still an issue. But hopefully once we get a militaristic state, which we already we already have. We get up to 4.5%. I don't know how much manpower we actually need for these troops to finish. Because it seems like on average they're about 77%. They probably need 20,000, maybe. That's 
a bit hard to say. Abilities at 14%. Uh, that will go up once we have disbanded civil, livery, civil liberties. Get us up back up to 30%. Because that's a major penalty to our already extremely slow construction speed here. Because it's negative 12%. And an output is modified by... I think about negative 20%. No, negative 10.8%. Okay. Maybe it could be a lot worse. Caps at 60. It's gonna take them a long time to get up there, but... You know, it is what it is. And when is that actually going to be ready? It's going to be ready um, on August. So already in like a few weeks from now. And there's only one province. So you can probably like two, four, six hit all these provinces at once. Or even like two, like four here, four here. Because I imagine this is probably the only major city they have. And also it would technically allow us to bypass um, Destroy the Republic. Because we would own this territory. So we can immediately... We would have this and this open to us. They could theoretically crush Belgium right away too. There are 9 out of 13 divisions. But again, they are split in half. They got one city up to the north. One city down to the south. So we definitely would need to strike both. But again, every country we annex... We do get stronger. Uh, like for here, we're going to get... Three, four more factories, which is pretty nice. Um, resources is... Tungsten over here is not meaningful. Rubber over here is not meaningful either. So, in terms of resources, we're not gaining anything. But we're gaining thousands of manpower. Which is important. Let's begin our unification war. Yeah, it's going to take about 140 days. Then we can deal with... Uh, you here. It would give us a, a bigger front line. Which might be considered an issue, but I don't really see it that way. Oh, so now you actually are getting your manpower. So are you guys full on manpower then? No, you're you're not. Okay, no, there's a manpower number. So we're still missing 12,000 manpower. Okay, actually, this is just for equipment. It's actually not for manpower. I'm guessing manpower does get spread out evenly. Which is a bit strange if that's how it would work. Okay, so we're going to clear the war. We'll see if this actually works. Uh, we have no allies. We'll just, you know, march in. And I'm hoping my troops are just kind of stronger than theirs are. They have no commander, which seems like an issue for them. Definitely going to win here. Which is fantastic. I don't know how much taking one province is going to be. In terms of uh, points here. So let's start getting our better infantry equipment as well. So taking our only city got them down to 35%. So we're going to keep on marching down south. Trying to capture some stuff. Because again, nothing here has victory points assigned to it anymore. Also, we're about to surround these three troops, which I think is pretty good for us. So taking over one province counted as 6%. Yeah, just keep on focusing on our military tech. Japan's declaring more wars, which actually, again, it's good for us because it will uh, increase world tension. Which means we could start justifying on other people faster. 85 days. Well, 10 days faster. It's not too bad. I'm hoping, though... You have 23, so we're going to need to take over, like, one more province. doesn't really matter which I believe. 
You'll be there in two days. I'm hoping I'm not losing 2,000 men. You know what? That's fine. Austria is clear war in Switzerland. Other people are claiming war on other people. So that's fine. Japan's who are you at war with? You're at war with these people in the back. Okay. But I do believe, yes, there we go. So we are going to take all states. Which now means we do have a civilian factory. However, I do think... He, I didn't change my re... I, I did not change this when I was at war. Definitely should have in hindsight. In hindsight, that would have made a lot of sense. However, we do have even more population now. So we've immediately recovered our losses from the war. 2,000 casualties is nothing. Uh, are we still missing support equipment the most? 248 days. Yes, by far. So, put two more into here. You're 8 out of 11. You can see the Belgians. I don't see any Belgians in the north, though. They might be completely focused in the south. You actually don't need this. You can actually skip right away. Because um, this is not required. Interesting. Okay. Because that only goes to destroy the Republic. Ten and nineteen. You are going to be a, a tough nut to crack. And if you're just missing support equipment, I am just going to immediately deploy you. Throw you onto the front line. Prepare for an invasion of you. At the same time, we're just going to manually just fight claim against you. We're not going to push the claim right away, of course. Um, okay, so you're at 55% towards reactionary. I don't know if there's actually the ability for you to, like, the flip. I don't know if that's actually within the game at the moment. Is anybody actually reactionary in terms of the government type? Yes, Afghanistan, Bohemia is, Greece, okay. I mean, it's a pretty cool symbol, you gotta admit, so... We got another few more days. You'll be done in December, so that means the other one's probably gonna be done in... Uh late November-ish. Keep on making our troops as good as humanly possible. I imagine once we declare war, uh, the Congolese Republic, we should definitely have the ability to um, upgrade both our recruitment law and partial mobilization. Because extensive is only a training time upgrade, uh, which is really not too bad. I really, I actually really like that even though we're having these massive penalties and not having enough resources, we are still actually able to um, keep our army reinforced. Which is really nice. So you don't have manpower, you don't have all your manpower. Only the top one does actually right now. Okay. Well, we'll let them train quietly in the background. We don't really need them until we declare war on uh, Kivu. And where is our attack going to mainly come from? Probably these two guys immediately attack into this stack. Our plan of still taking over this one chunk would is still uh, great. Probably what we're going to want to do is attack one division, one division, two move into here. And then one more is just going to keep moving south. Cut the Congolese Republic in half. So who even is the Imperial Authority? Because whoever they are, they're dead now. But Japan is getting pretty powerful. There's no doubt about that. Are you at war with anybody else? Yeah, you're at war with this guy way up to the far north. But you literally have no way to get there. So I'm not too sure... What your plan actually entails. 
Also, Russia's actually still fighting this one war, which I'm surprised by. Normally they win much faster. The United League has been puppeted. Unsurprising. The Spanish state is definitely going to beat the Spanish Republic. It's only a matter of time until that is uh, complete. And I only see five guys. I only see five guys defending your border. And just actually annexing you would almost double our economy, which is pretty good. So was I right? Just in, yeah. Okay, beginning of December, not the. The end there. We don't need you. But you actually require me to research all of them eventually anyways. So... I mean, there's nothing else I can do, right? No, so I might as well try to crush the Belgian menace. Okay, so... You guys attack here. You can only attack in this province. So I think that makes sense. Like what we're wanting to do is cut these guys off. I guess we can assist them here. You guys do not connect, right? No. So this is definitely going to be a, a harder battle for us to fight. We did lose our battle in uh, Leopoldville. But that's okay. Oh, these ones that don't connect. Oh, I see. Okay, I was a bit confused about how the geography uh, here worked out. So we can see there's troops in the south. Okay, they definitely have troops in both directions. Uh, we're not going to declare war quite yet. I think we do have three... Uh, months? Or like, no, not three months. Maybe like a year. Until this goes away. Okay, they are proving to be slightly more stubborn than the guys we fought before. On so, they have 11 divisions? They have 15, 18 divisions? I feel like I've been lied to. Maybe we should have tried killing Belgium first. Okay. You guys reorganize yourself a little bit. My plan of cutting them in half might not actually work. I kind of want to, like, last stand, you guys. Which I'm going to do. Defend here as much as possible. Upgrade our infantry equipment again. Uh, might as well get weapons, too. Like, you're in multiple combats. I'm surprised you're able to hold on for as long as you are. Reinforcements are coming in here to fill up this pocket. How long till they get there? I don't know, because they're now they're being attacked once again. It's a bit of a shame. I also upgrade uh, these things, please. Can I not go to war economy? I don't have war support. Okay. Um, also, I have no stability. Yeah, propaganda against Japan. How dare they do what it is they're doing. But actually, I'm surprised they're holding out as long as they are. I mean, how much manpower do you have? A couple thousand. Which can definitely prove dangerous. 
Are they going to reinforce this province? I'm kind of okay with that. Especially if you just have left this one province undefended now. Because that works out for me. Um, I still need to upgrade this. I mean, I can upgrade my recon companies. It's going to take like a while though. Let's, no, reinforce on rate. Get that up a little bit. So there we go. We've done what I wanted to do. We've, is, uh, we've cut these guys in half. Once you move... We'll move in here. I have, not I have no more um, focus I can do at the moment. 46 days, 200 days. We still want to focus on making more support equipment. He's soon going to have a complete encirclement penalty. How many provinces surround you? Just two? How long do you get there? Four days. It's going to take you nine days to get there. So we got to keep distracting you then. With more combat. Like you sort of start running out of supplies. I don't know how you've not... Oh, because Portugal's down here. That's why you don't have the encirclement penalty. But we can probably sit here for a little bit. Okay, no, they did manage to break out. But they're still in circles. That's the important part here. And it looks like we do have guys in all of their surrounding provinces, so that's pretty good. And in multiple combats, so... You should start dying soon. We can shift these guys straight over here. Unfortunately, again, I can't do like a naval invasion as much as I wish I could. Okay, so I think I just killed about half of their army right there. We lost 22,000 men. Which is really bad. Um, just since I really don't have the manpower to really take massive losses over and over again. But that's probably just because, you know, I've been the aggressor in every single one of these battles. Okay, I think it's time to strike on Le uh, Leopoldville. I think there's only two promises that actually connect this region. So, for you, you know what, right now, you start marching down south. I think that's understandable. I think that's, uh, advised. You're at 82. People are all declaring war on each other. That's okay. I'm not going to worry about just finding a war goal against this guy for now. And I have the war goal against him all the time anyway, just because I did the, uh, the focus. Yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do with that right now. Japan finally acts as a, a front line with that one guy they're trying to kill. Congolese Republic, I would really, really, really like your factories. That's all I want. But I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, give a thumbs up. If you're not enjoying, you can always thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.